What I want to do in this exercise is to demonstrate how to create an update query. To do this, I must be in the query section of uh, the Access status screen. I go into the uh, menu New and I choose uh, Design View. From here, when I go into the Design uh, screen, I need to choose the table that I want to uh, use, so in this case, the Job Classifications. The purpose of this query is to show you how to create it create an update query that will adjust or change or increase the pay rate uh, field. Uh, it's going to be uh, it's going to change the pay rates of the staff in the database. I select the, uh, the field name, drag it down into the uh, first column here and then I go into the menu and I choose query, update query. Uh, you'll notice that the uh, uh, names change here and in this section of the uh, design screen I type out the field name in square brackets, pay rate. I want to increase the pay rate by say uh, 5% so I times 1.05. I'm writing the numbers as a decimal fraction in this case. Uh, once I've got the information uh, written out it's always a good idea just to check to see that the field names that you're wanting to apply uh, change or apply can be seen up in the uh, table section up here which you can see is correct. I then run the query I come up with this uh, dialog box that says I'm going to uh, update eight rows when I see that message I know I'm on the right path so when you're doing uh, update queries if you see this message you can feel confident that everything's working fine. If I click yes the data gets changed. You'll notice there is uh, nothing to tell me that the data has actually been changed. Uh, you have to understand that uh, to see whether it's changed you need to go into the uh, table itself and view the data. You need to be able to obviously know what the uh, information was before the change and then compare that with uh, after the change. If I go in now into the menu and choose File Save As to save my query I'll call it Update Query I've saved the query, I close the query and the query is saved there. If you run the query again you'll uh, run the risk of uh, changing the data uh, once more uh, and that's why it's important that when you use update queries that you understand uh, uh, how many times you've used them and in this case I only want to use it once.